Hey folk slayers, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to Queer as Folk episode 9. Ah, it's getting so good. Justin is effing up. Ted's business is doing well. We haven't checked up on the girls. Emmett is like a star turning slowly into a sugar baby, perhaps. I feel like at the end of the episode, Brian and Justin kind of more seemed I'm sure I guess the relationship is still open because I feel like we need to have that conversation but it's seeming more and more that they're just gonna be monogamous which is what I'm personally I guess waiting for but I am having fun with the storyline and stuff. I wonder if we'll see the kid again. I kind of think that we will and like Brian will see him like I guess like maybe at the diner while Justin's working and Brian's eating. Like I want to see Brian be jealous. Like I just do. I do. I do. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying my reactions. It's so cool that I'm the only person and the original first only person to react to the show. That just shows how underrated this is. I think there's a I've talked about this many times, but I feel like there's like a stigma with this show and everyone can shove it up their ass because this is so ahead of its time. So good, so real, so relatable. The acting is 10 out of 10. The casting is 10 out of 10. Like everything I've heard about this show, it applies way more to the recent remake, which like, how are you gonna talk about that and then make it even like, you know? Anyways, if you'd like to watch the YouTube edits early, I'm a few weeks ahead on my Patreon. If you'd want to check out the uncut episodes, that's there as well. Links will always be below. But if you prefer the YouTube edit here, I appreciate you guys and let's get into it. So excited. Is this Emmett with the old man now? I... Is that Brian? Wait, was that Emmett? Oh, why did I think that was Emmett? Monogamy who? <laughs> Again, having fun with this, not being a snob. Haven't seen Brian. Justin, it's date night. I'm I guess sorry, we they have up? their own kind of date nights, now, which is fine. What you need is something to keep your eyelids open. Like him. Yeah, right. God is going to be interested in me. How many times is he going to do this? What the hell? Like, I feel like he always gets what a stud, right? Hi, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Maybe you could use it as a bookmark or something. Cricketwork.net. that you? That's right. Oh, he knows. Four. Something tells me that's not his real name. You and me. Hunkiest professor in the whole wide world. Damn. Damn. Nice positive. Oh, I didn't even talk about this in the opening. He's killing it. I can't stop Mel thinking about Lindsay. it. Mel Lindsay. I shouldn't let myself be influenced by other people. I ordered my eggs with bacon. Okay. Not group therapy. Uh, I miss them. If you them. want them back, go fucking get them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Those puppy dog eyes can only mean one thing. Mama knows. Boy trouble. Oh. The right guy will come along, you'll see. I want him with Ben. I'm really interested how they're gonna navigate it. Huh? No, I do everything. Who the for heck her. is the All she does is criticize. You deal with her. You put up with her demand. Her drinking has gotten a lot worse since Daddy died. She's celebrating. <gasps> Why don't you drive her to the doctor? To church. She's your mother too. I wonder if this is her first episode. You help me out, Brian. Or if she was in well, like the wake episode. She's yours. I feel like he has more than one sibling. On. Working man. Well Teddy. Who's to be for the impaler tonight? I'm too tired to even get it up. You are in the biz. No. Viagra. You ever tried it? Only when I operate heavy equipment. Ugh. I would hate that. Ben! <laughs> Fancy Michael. meeting you here. What a coincidence, am I running into you? What a coincidence. Uh, really, I live here. Yeah. Nice seeing you. For two hours waiting for you. Would you like to come up? Oh, a friend of mine gave me that. You're supposed to rub its belly for luck. Does it work? Can't hurt. I love that. I've been thinking about you. 
a lot. I thought about you too. I think I may have overreacted to you being positive. I don't know if that's the word. You just needed more time, which Ben should understand, but it, it sucks, whatever. So I'd like to start again. You're not seeing anyone, are you? No. Let me pick up where we left off. Mm -hmm. Easy. Appreciate your coming to see me. I need to know that if I allow myself to love someone, that they're not going to bail on me. So I'm sorry, but it takes more than a kiss. Actions speak louder than words. You gotta show me something. My heart well, is missing There are no something. hard or firm rules when it comes to these things. It'll happen when it happens. Well, I don't want anything to happen till Thor arrives. Hold on. Hello. Oh it's God. Me. Thor, coming over. I can't. The filming is incredible. I, I gotta take her to the hospital. <gasps> Christ, Lulu. Lulu comes okay. first. Absolutely. Who's Lulu? Oh God, I'm getting hard. It's working. What do I do now? Honey, I've seen you in action. We've all seen you in action. I'm sure you'll come up with something. It's a little early for that. Brian's day. mom. When was the last time I saw you? The way. Christmas. Oh. We better go. We don't want to be late. Or? or church. Church. Forgive me, Father. Claire said you'd take me. I never said that. That bitch. Brian, do you have to use such language? You always went to the 8 o'clock service. Switch to the noon one. It's more traditional. And we have Amen. this wonderful new minister. Ooh. We know what that means. I'll go myself. Can't go like that. I don't need you. I was gonna say I like the hip-hop music in the background Everyone in the comments have been saying they love Ben like he's like a favorite. I hope he's in Every season. Oh my god. I didn't even think about if he Dies. Oh my god. That's crazy. Oh my god. Let's play ball. I'll cover Mighty Mouse. I'm not handing over the ball until he agrees to go out with me on a date. Well, I suggest you say yes, because if he's like the bitch I got at home, he's gonna be standing here all day. God damn. Yay. What are we gonna learn today, huh, Brian? I know we all want to see this new priest, right? Wait till you see our new minister. What a comfort he's been to me since your father died. Like a son. Here he is. <laughs> we knew. Jesus Christ, the love of God be with you all. Amen. Oh, right. <laughs> Shut up. Welcome. Shut up. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I want you to come and say hello. Brian, this is Reverend Tom Butterfield. Hey, Butter. My mother's told me so much about you. Butter. But. Great service. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I met at the baths. Thank you very much for coming. What? I don't know what to say. Me either. Appreciate if you keep this between the two of us. You think I'm going to tell my mom? She doesn't even know I'm gay. What? Talk to your boss. Your I secret's safe. I forgot about that. The father knew, right? I once wanted to be a priest. They thought, how unnatural. Living your life in a world full of men. Hello? It's me. Teddy? <laughs> Shh, on Mel and Lindsay's front porch. No. What are you doing on the front porch? Slip outside like you're gonna check on the weather. Promise me you'll come alone. <laughs> I was gonna say, I mean, it's really not that crazy. I still have an erection. What do you mean you still have an erection? <laughs> Thank you, CNN. I took Viagra. It's been 18 hours and it won't go down. What am I gonna do? Have you tried well, soaking it? First, put it under your belt. Maybe you should take some. Our sex life isn't what it used to be. Well, we're down to like four times a day. Look, I gotta do something. You can't believe I can. I can. It was your idea, Viagra. Oh, so fucking hot. Are you gonna answer? I'll go away. Gonna be the sister. Oh, even worse. <laughs> Mom. I'm sorry, am I disturbing you? Yes. Thank you. You're going with me to church. Uh. Probably won't see you again for another six months. 
I mean, it works both ways, lady. We could be close the way we once were. Brian. I didn't know there was someone else here. Oh. <laughs> no, now you do. J Justin, this is my mother. Mom. This <sighs> Hi. Is she leaving? That's annoying. Mom. I'm happy it didn't just end there. You're not gonna talk to me? It's not holy. Thank God your father didn't know. Uh, he did, he did. Right, okay. He had a brain. I told him before he died. Oh, right. What about your sister? He told everyone but me. I hope you know it's a sin. Yeah. That I fought guys or that I didn't tell you. Isn't like being an alcoholic a sin? You're going to help. The Bible written a billion years ago. I'm not like even against religion, but like the Bible was written by people who wanted things to be a certain way, I feel. Mm -hmm. Like God created us, so. Mm -hmm. well, what, what is it? Make it Doctor? make sense. Well, that's quite a boner you've got there. That's Can they do something? Oh. Pickles hasn't been back. Okay. Maybe he was a one episode wonder. Are you in any pain? No. That's good. Quit worrying. You heard what the doctor said. It'll go down. Yeah, mine did. Yeah, thanks to your mom. She just needs a little time to get used to it. Probably praying for my soul as we speak. Reverend Buttfuck. <laughs> Literally. One, she believes him. One she trusts. One who's been so like destroy a it. No. If she only knew. Ben. You came. I'm over here with the guy. Thought this was about you and me. It is. Come on. Hey guys, look who's here. Hi guys. Hey Ben. Did you guys just happen to run into each other? I invited him. He's my date. Well, oh God. Two, uh, Why would we do this, but, uh, Michael? I'm we can get back together again. Anybody got a problem with that? No. <laughs> Glad to hear. It's not the way I would have went about this, but whatever works. I gotta get going. But you just got here. You said let's get together, and we did. Take care of yourself, Mike. Ben, the two of us need. We both found what we were looking for. You've got a friend in me. Oh my god, I just got chills. I admit, it took a lot of courage to get up there. That was really cute. I know what I want and I'll do anything to get it. You mean me? I mean you. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Dinner tomorrow night in my place. I promised my mother I'd have dinner with her and my Uncle Vic. Some other time then? No. Can you come? Dinner tomorrow night. Oh my god, I hope that this is in this episode. And like Vic and Ben could meet, Debbie could see the vibes. Oh god. Hello, what are you doing here? I just came in for a few quiet moments of solace and prayer. Mm -hmm. well, my mother recently discovered that I'm a homosexual. Homosexual. That is a problem. But what she doesn't know is that so is a minister. Not only that, and this is the part you're never going to believe. I've actually had him, myself, down on all fours, squealing like a pig. I don't think this is the time. What would she say if she knew her man of God was at the baths, taking it up the ass? I understand your feelings of anger, but they have nothing to do with me or this church. They have to do with you and your mother. You don't know shit about my mother. I know a lot more than you, because I spent time with her, and I talk to her, and I try to offer comfort. By telling her that I'm going to burn in hell. I don't teach that lesson. I teach love. I teach truth. The truth is you're a goddamn liar. Brian, if you want to betray me, if that's what you need to do, then you do it. But I know who I have to answer to, and it isn't you. Now get the fuck out of my church. Ooh. She has a right to know. What, that he's gay? So how come you never told her about yourself? Because my private life is none of her goddamn business. Right? Neither is her minister's. So I tell her. I take away the one thing she's got. You think I made enough? Depends on what you mean by enough. If you mean enough for the entire population of the Western Hemisphere, then yeah, you've made enough. That's like my mother. So my son is bringing some home to meet us. Oh. This could be the one. Does she know it's Ben? 
Oh God. Ma, Uncle Vic. Oh, they're here. God, he's I here. can't oh, believe she doesn't know. Hi, baby. <laughs> You remember You're going to make things weird. Now their reaction's going to be like sure. weird. Hi, Ben. Hey, my Uncle Vic. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ben. Same here for you. Like, give your mother well, time you. to, like, think They're about lovely. this. She would have invited him. Well, are we just going to stand here? Come on in. Or she wouldn't have told him not to come. But you don't have to frickin' drop. What's the dropping bombs this whole episode? Mom. Uh, <laughs> I'm praying, Brian. For my soul? I always include you in my prayers. What a pal. <laughs> I miss Brian being a little vulnerable at times. <clears throat> I want to see that again. You can't be bothered. You never could. Because you're selfish. It's not true. I'm sorry it's to not. tell you, dear, but it is. I can't depend on you any more than I could on him. But there is someone I can count on, no matter what. The minister. Reverend. Reverend. Tom. God. I knew she meant God. God will always be there for me. I like him, Mom. I know you do, sweetheart. I like him, too. He's handsome, charming, smart. Obviously works out more than once a week. <laughs> I just don't like him for you. I don't appreciate you ambushing me. I did not ambush you. I don't need your permission. This is still my house. I love him, Mom. That's the reality. And you're just going to have to live with it. So how long have you been positive, Ben? That's a Hunter. good question. I'd just like to know. Uh, it's okay, I'm fine with it. Five years. Oh, shit. What's your T-cell count? Uh, it's 600. Ever been hospitalized? No, not yet. Knock wood. Viral load? Undetectable. On the cocktail? Antivirals. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Asking this the hard-hitting questions. This is sweetheart. And you're just gonna have to live with it. Undetectable. Garlic bread? Hey, real quick, in bed with Billy moment. Thanks to Patreon, I understand that the medication was in effect. I guess I thought it wasn't a thing yet because of the way that Debbie was reacting, but I believe it came about in like mid 90s. So I understand that it would be new. And of course I understand that it's just generally scary. It's also why I said earlier, like I wonder how they're gonna go about the relationship, but if he's undetectable, he's undetectable. Obviously it's something to think about and still unsettling, but Love is love, we in love, and we just gotta wear the glove. Well, actually, I guess you wouldn't have to, but whatever, whoever feels comfortable doing, you know? I'm not shocked that they had the conversation. I was assuming that they would, but I guess if he didn't ambush the mom, it would have been more a smoother transition. Oh. Tommy, great distress. You up for a little action? He's up for it, all right. <laughs> Tell me that it's gonna go down. Wow. That's some monster. <laughs> Tell me it's gonna go down. Yeah. It's going down. <laughs> oh, it is. It is. It's going down. You made my dick soft. <laughs> you have to broadcast it? <laughs> I'm sure. That's fucked. She knows lots of positive people. But none of them are dating her son. She's just trying to protect you. I didn't think that Ben was gonna be What she like, was asking you yeah. have a right to know. I'm in yeah. good shape now, but I can't promise that I'll always be. There is no always. There's only now. It's all we have. Isn't that what you're always telling me? That's what I'm always telling you. So then I don't care what anyone else says. I just care how I feel. I want you to be very sure. I am sure. Damn, it's getting hot in here. Is that Buddha? Let me get that. What the hell are you doing here? Your mother tells me you were at church. Thank you. For what? Not saying anything. I didn't do it for you. You're a good son. I promise not to tell. And you're a bad Malcolm, reverend, excuse right? Me, I'm going to hell. Interesting. Very interesting. Alrighty, so are we gonna see more of 
the priest guy kind of gave that vibe i'm not really that intrigued by him honestly just because like just not feeling it he, be he better not be the one to mess things up with justin like that will piss me off but <sighs> i didn't i wasn't offended by debbie at all i don't know why michael continues to forget who his mother is i also knew that ben was going to take that well and they made some love at the end so all is good all is clear he said undetectable because i know if you're on the medication you can't give it but yeah good episode i loved michael doing the karaoke i was expecting to see lita i mean not like specifically in this episode but she hasn't been in episodes like i definitely don't think we're done with her the chris hobbs storyline i'm looking at my notes i just I, we haven't seen him tracy too is she gone i always think she's gone and then she kind of pops up but i was kind of hoping that she was gonna work in the store with michael i feel like that could happen at any time i just think this is such a full cast that they really don't have time for a storyline with her i guess ted and emmett like i keep thinking something's gonna happen between them but i don't know i could really see like it never happening between them either it was cool seeing brian's family the sister m is her name maybe it was cool to see the mom i'm happy she knows about brian my god we also haven't seen jennifer tyler in a hot minute either like wasn't she going through a divorce or something but yeah loving ben really cool new character i'm so excited to see where they go i could see them being endgame like making it to the end of the series but i feel like they're gonna have to give us a scare i just got chills saying this out loud with his sickness if he dies that's gonna be fucking rough oh my god i have chills everywhere yeah so on that note i guess that is it please give this video a thumbs up it helps my channel so much and i will see you guys in the next one it's billy bitch